Okay, welcome back to our other class of learning how to program web application at advanced level using Laravel. So today is going to be our fifth, fifth, sixth class and we're going to resume from where we stopped that in the previous class. So if you're new, I recommend you to go to our previous lectures that you can find on our YouTube channel, which is here. Search Learn It With Mohindo on our YouTube channel. Learn it with Mohindo and then click on search. After searching, then click on playlist, okay? So when you click on playlist, you'll find the videos that uh, we always take. So you'll find this playlist with um, the title of Advanced Web Programming. And then open that one. Then you'll be able to get all our previous videos. So far, I've covered five videos. So you can begin from the first one if you're completely new here. And we'll give you the basic, basic introduction on how to set up the environment beginning uh, whether using web or mac and everything until this point uh, where we are today so if you can do that for yourself then it will be great but if you already have basics of laravel programming then it's also okay you can still resume with us but i would recommend if you're really new here you you better come and search on this youtube channel learn it to me hindu and then uh, come and begin from the first video practice up to the up until you reach us which is video number six so with that much said uh, let's go ahead and resume from where we stopped at in the previous video as i said we always uh do timing uh, we do uh, 60 minutes but because today we are late so we're going to do 40 minutes so when the 40 minutes will be over we will just end the class uh straight away so i'll start our counter so after doing that uh, what i'm going to do I'm going to launch our project. So I've already started my database, which is ZAMP for those who are using Mac. I mean, for those who are using Windows, it's ZAMP. For me, I'm using Mac, so I'm, I'm, I'm using MAMP. So I've started my database, OPHP, my admin. After starting that one, so the next thing I'm going to load my project into the text editor. And you know the text editor that we're using? We're using VS Studio Code, v Visual Studio Code, okay? so let me go ahead and search my project where i put it i put it i think in this project in this folder of laravel and this eugene is 24 this folder okay this is where i was storing a previous project if you are following so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy and drag i mean i'm going to drag and drop this project into our what into our text editor okay that's one way another way you can go into the text editor which and then click on files and click on open and navigate until you reach your what your project so if you still remember in we are doing um a news application or a news web application using laravel we've got all the most of the, of the introduction uh, in laravel but uh, now at this point we are trying to implement uh using um using uh, using the good practice of what of laravel if you still remember uh what we did previously we designed uh, the database for our model. And if you still remember, we did something like this. Something like this. Whereby we said that um, we'll need users. And we had users, which is simply a table of ID and name and, and user. Okay, I mean the user information. We'll need uh, a post. Okay, if you still remember a post. And we discussed all the things that we may need in a post and then we will need also what uh likes and comments and then maybe post categories so we looked at all those things in the what in the previous video and then we also went ahead and designed this what this uh, database so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to start this project and then we see where we stop that and be able to resume straight away so what i'm going to do i'm going to expand my terminal which is uh, the control and tilde and then I'm going to write our command that is going to serve our what? Our project, which is um, PHP artisan serve. Okay. So I write PHP artisan serve. Our project will be live on this what? On this port, on, on this IP. So if I open that IP on my computer, I should be able to see it. So I've covered a lot of things uh, such as layouts uh including uh, external components all those things i've covered them okay so that's why you see uh the routes and everything controllers and everything we've already, co we've already covered them 
that's why I see I have this simple thing where I have uh, the home and I click on home. I'm seeing the home page and I click on about us. I'm seeing about us. I click on contact us. I'm able to see what they contact us. So let us go ahead and see what we stopped in the previous video. Uh, if you remember in the previous video, I'll collapse this one. We designed uh, our um, we, we designed our database tables. Okay, our database tables, whereby we created um, the migration of uh, categories. The migration of uh, we create a migration of categories. If you still understand what is meant by migration, we create the migration of um, post itself. We create the migration of comments, and then we create the migration of what of likes. So that's where we stopped at in the what in the previous video. So today we are going to now go ahead and create models. Let me check if we created the models. I will come to application and then go ahead and expand the models folder we do not create models so today we're going to see how we can create models and how we can create the relationship so if we come to you still remember how we set up the environment and connected our database with what with our project for example here our database is laravel which news 24 that's the name of our database so if i come to php my admin localhost stroke php my admin and they come to you'll see i'll be able to see the project that i did the database so if everyone was following up this point they should be understanding everything that i'm talking about you see we have the migration of categories have the migration i mean the, the tables of categories comments likes and then um and then what posts okay so today we're going to see how we can put these things together and be able at least to create a post okay and then after creating a post to be able to uh to retrieve these posts and then as well as uh, adding maybe comments on these posts okay so that's what you're going to do uh today so with that much said let's go ahead and uh, uh do the task okay and, and, and start doing what you're supposed to do right so uh previously we just created what you just created the what uh the tables or the migrations so today we're going to now get introduced to what we call models so in laravel uh we have what we call models so models they help us to act as the interface between our project and the database itself okay they help us to act as the interface between our project and the database itself so they will give us more power to communicate with the database for example if you're not using laravel and you want to get all the elements all all the and you want to get all the information from the table or certain information from the table you want for example let's say like you want to get users from the table what do you do you have to write the sql by yourself and then after writing the sql by yourself and then you go ahead and collect this data and loop everything by yourself but with laravel you will have the ability uh to use uh the model to communicate the database with simplicity as we're going to see uh what you call the laravel eloquent and then it will simplify everything as we're going to see so I don't need even to put too much sugar on it but uh, in simple terms the model is the one that will help us to communicate i mean to, to to go to make our project communicate with the what with the database with simplicity so with laravel you can really make a rapid application or you can really develop project uh, project at a very high speed so with that much said what i'm going to do right now i'm going to search about laravel models so you can come here i said that um, this tutorials point they have a very good uh documentation or oh, they have a very good uh tutorials or notes for what for laravel so if you come to laravel i uh, hear to tutorials point and search laravel and then come to models i think they're not right about models okay you'll find great explanation about what about um about um, laravel i mean about uh models oh everything about Laravel. most of things okay we'll look at forms and everything okay we're going to look at them right now so what you're going to do you're going to uh to to come to laravel documentation of models so just simply come and search laravel models okay so inside laravel models you'll see here the documentation of lot of, of models and i also say that you should put this thing of uh of uh, grepa in your in your what in your text uh, in, in your google chrome add the grepper uh this grepper extension just go and search grepper as it is written here 
and add it in your Chrome. Why? It will help you to get these codes with simplicity. So come to Laravel documentation and then um, it's a very good source where you can find Laravel nodes. And then come and search models. You can as well search from here. Laravel models. So you can reduce Laravel 8 or Laravel 9, okay? Whatever you want. And then you can search what you call models. Or, or, or you come here to where there is a eloquent ORM, okay? So here, eloquent ORM, they'll give you an, a very good introduction or explanation what about models. So in your free time, instead of uh, doing some nothing, you better come here and start learning these notes, okay? And start learning these notes. They'll tell you what is meant by a model. So they'll tell you Laravel includes an eloquent, an object-oriented mapper, or what you call ORM, object-oriented mapper, that makes it enjoyable to interact with your database. When using eloquent, each database table has corresponding model. That's what they call model now. That is, that is used to interact with the table, okay? In addition, retrieving records the database table eloquent models allows you to insert it will allow us to insert after learning after getting the other uh, the retrieving feature which will allow also us to insert the data in the database to allow us to update as well as deleting records from the table as well so the database i mean the model what you call eloquent okay uh, object we call it orm eloquent object rel relational mapper orm it will help us to communicate with database simply with too much with too much simplicity okay other than writing the sql uh, so so that's a simple introduction about models so if you come here to this documentation you'll be able to learn now how to create a model how to create everything so everything that i talk about in my videos always come here to the documentation and learn more deep uh, to understand what they meant in uh, i mean what they really mean and how you, how they really laravel really talked about it so with that much said, uh, what you're going to do right now, you're going to create our first model, okay? So our first model, of course, is going to be, is going to be what? Uh, so each table that you're having here, okay, we created how many tables? We created a table of posts, we created a table of, uh, of likes, we created a table of comments, okay? So what you're going to do today, we're going to begin with a table of what? And post category, right? Do you also post of cat post category. So what we're going to do today, we're going to create it now because, because before a post, you must have a what? You must have a category. So what you're going to do, you're going to begin by creating the what? The, 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 the model of category and we see how we can manipulate it. And then after, we'll go ahead and create the, the model of what? Of post and see we can communicate with what? With database. So we come here to our documentation of Laravel. Okay. And then we look at the command that you have to write in order to create a water model. You can read these notes in your free time, okay? Come and read them. So this is the command that you can do to create a model. So for example, here they're going to create a model called flight. So they do the write PHP addition, make model, and then this one, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to copy this model and then going and uh, create our own model of what? Of category. So I do need category because we want to have some categories for the post before we create the post themselves. So... I will come and copy this category. Okay. After copying that cut, I mean, I will come and copy this model. Of course, you can memorize it. I already know it, but I just show you how you can also, where you can get it. Okay. So I'll go ahead and copy it. After copying it, but you, to copy that model, of course, you must have already the migration first. And you have migration and created the table, right? So I'll come and copy that model. So I'll come, if you still remember, I said that uh, for me, I always have my place where i write my important commands so in case i don't want those commands i don't want to go back and copy and uh, so we have a simple file here we can write our first command our simple our our commands so this is our command for creating what creating models okay so once i write it there i'll save it and i'll not need to go back again to search for it so to create a model you just simply write php artisan make model so when you're creating this model uh, there, are, there are some rules that you have to follow in order your models to be understandable with uh, Laravel. So the first rule that you have to follow is that the name of your model should begin with a capital letter. Okay, should begin with a capital letter, then follow with small letters. And uh, 
at the beginning of every english word you should always begin with the word with a capital letter let us say that you have a table called uh user levels okay or user access levels okay say user levels okay or, or user ro roles okay user roles assume that you have a table like this one so in laravel database it will be user roles like this so when you create a corresponding model that laravel will understand simplicity and connect to this table what you do you just simply begin with a capital letter like you and then user and then at the beginning of another english word for example the next english word in this roles is role roles and then you begin with the what with a, another capital letter don't put underscore in the models names and then like this then when you're creating a model don't create it with plural okay don't create with plurals the tables will have plural if you still remember previously we said that all the tables should have a plural of a certain english word that's why you see we are having categories we don't have a category as a table name but we have categories we have comments we have failed jobs we have likes so everything is plural migrations password resets posts and users right right so you see everything here in the table is plural but when you create you're going to create a corresponding model that will create for the what you will communicate to this one you begin with what with a capital in, with a capital letter and then make sure that word is not what is not plural for example you're going to create a model for categories table here for this categories table so what does it mean it's going, just going to be begin the capital letter ka te Gory. Don't write categories. If you write categories, then Laravel will not intelligently know that you meant a category. You meant this mode to connect the what with a category table. Categories table. So what you do? You write the singular over uh, this table, right? Which is category. So Laravel will smartly know that hey, you meant what? You meant categories to connect with this one. Okay. So I hope you've understood that. Assume that our model has more than one english word more than no, two english word for example this password resets so this password reset we could just simply say password reset and if you see clearly every beginning of the english word i begin with the what with the capital later okay uh, that's what you call i think camel case right snake case or camel case snake i don't know that's common case <laughs> okay so i hope you've understood that so now what you're going to do you're going to create now a mod a, a, a you're going to create uh, a a model that is going to communicate with this what with this category table so it's going to be category okay so it's going to be php artisan make model and then category don't write categories so i hope you are together I'll go ahead and copy that command. After copying it, then I'll expand. Excuse yes, sir. Uh, why, why didn't we use categories? It's, it's not allowed. I didn't, I didn't. Yes. Yeah, it's not. Okay, it's allowed, but Laravel will not intelligently know that you meant what category. It is a rule. If you come and read these notes, eh? come and read these notes in your free time about Laravel models. Come and read these notes. This is a documentation by the Laravel creators themselves they will tell you everything and why you don't need to do what to use plurals but if you use plurals it's okay it will work but at some point you'll see some challenges that you'll need to manually tell that hey i meant this plural but it is meant for this table so if you don't want that manual thing you have to use these rules that i'm telling you so you can come and uh, read about this can you can you see they could have said flights here create mode of flight but what did they do they do what they said flight we use plural when you're creating migrations the tables if you were up there in the previous classes or if you were previous classes when you're creating tables use plural when you're creating the model to connect with that table we use singular as you can see here so that is the laravel rule so i'll go ahead and create this model so i'm going to create the second what to expand another command tab i mean the 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 the, the, the uh the, 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 the terminal so this first terminal is running my 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 project so i don't need to close it if you want to open another one just simply click on plus here and then we'll have two terminals so one terminal will be running for the project another one will be for my commands okay so i'll clear the screen and then i'm going to 
run this uh, this command to create our what to create our model so our model when you create it it will be saved here under application under model so laravel is going to create for us a file called under application model is going to create for us a file called category.php and that will be our laravel model you can create it manually as well okay so i'll go ahead and copy that and then come and paste it here and run it okay so our model has been created successfully and you can see there is one more extra model here can you see under models laravel we do not have this but we now have it so if you try to run it again they will tell you that hey you've already created that model you see the model already exists so you can see now we have this extra model so this is how a laravel model will do what will look like so this guy will help us to it's just a simple class of uh of, of category and it extends a model class of laravel eloquent okay so this guy is going to help us to now communicate uh simply with our what with our database okay with our database so before we proceed we're going to see how we can handle forms or in what in laravel because i want us to do what to be able to create a new what to create a a new category using laravel forms and then uh, be able to list these categories and then reuse them so what you're going to do right now you're going to create a form that is going to collect that you're going to use to collect the parameters of category and then be able to create these categories so we are learning everything as we do it as we proceed so to create a form of course what you're going to do here this is our project you're going to create uh here another tab called categories okay i'm going to create here another tab called categories category create okay i'm going to create another tab called you can call it category create okay this is going to, you're going to create another tab called here category create so in that category create it is where we'll have uh the logic of creating the what the the categories for laravel i mean the the categories for our project okay so there we're going to learn now how to collect the information from the form and deal with it and then uh, uh, list that information to the what to the database so what we're going to do right now you're going to create another uh, another what another another endpoint okay another endpoint so to do that we'll just simply come to our um, routes so i'll collapse this one okay so are the routes the routes are here okay and then i'm going to come to web route which is here we can wrap these other guys you use them to explain but they are not important okay but let me leave them for you for future things so again to create here another uh, route and another endpoint okay so this endpoint we are going to call it um category we can create another controller let me see if this controller will use I have it so you can create another controller that will be dealing with categories okay let's go ahead and create another controller so you still remember my important commands i keep them in what i keep them in important commands here so i already have a, a command that can create for me what a controller so i'm going to create another controller that will deal with what with post categories so i'll just copy this and then just rename it okay i can duplicate it or i can rename it so i'm going to call it um category controller okay i'm going to call it category controller and copy it after copying it i'm going to expand my terminal and then paste there and then once we do that it means that we now have our category controller which is this one which is this one here where is it under under http i mean under app under http and then you can see we have another new controller here this controller category controller this one right so i have this controller so after doing that uh, by the way i've never put this project on github uh, maybe today's class after the class i'll put on github and you'll see how we put things on github after how many minutes we're remaining with after 17 minutes we remain 17 minutes so this is our controller right so here we can put different methods that we can use to deal with what with our pro with our categories so the first method that i want to put i'm going to put the create cut, cut create method okay so i can see and come and cheat here you see this is how we do things okay so i'm going to cheat here and then come and paste it here so i'm going to call this one uh create okay create and then it will just simply uh just die okay just return the word create and then we're going to create a v for it 
So this one is just going to create. So under category, we have create. So this one will be responsible for just showing the form of creating and then deal with that logic of creating the form. So now we have to put this one in our router. So we will come to our router, where is our route, which is here, under web under routes. So I'm going to now add another router. Okay, I'm going to call it categories, okay, dash create. Okay, why do I begin with that categories dash create? Because I want my things to be organized. Everything about category should begin with the word category. So now the controller is no longer home controller, but it's called category controller. It is being suggested here, category controller. The method that we're going to call in category controller is called what? It's called create. Okay, so if you watch these things as movie as a movie, of course you not understand, but you'll only understand if you hit the road and start practicing by yourself. So you can see under this controller we have a method called create and that will be called every time someone comes to what to categories create. So going to save that and come and refresh. Of course, nothing will be done there until you put here stroke category. I mean sorry, stroke. Kate, let me come and copy it, eh? this end point until you put that one. Then you see we have create. So it means that is now already there. So what you're going to do, we're going to add that create here so you can have it listed on this menu. So how do you do that? How do you do that? Of course, we have to come to our layouts. If you still remember, we have to come to resources and then come to what? To views and then come to layouts and then come to this main blade layout that is where we have our menu if you still remember that so what we're going to do now we are going to add here after contact us maybe you're going to add after later we'll organize them properly we we'll have the administrators layout and public layout so after here i'm just going to add a link of categories create and here i'm just going to put what the user will see if i put the user if i put for the user category create they will not understand stuff but for us we know it will help us to organize our code and keep our things in control okay so i have to not confuse the user what i'm going to show to the user what i'm going to show the user is going to be create category like this create category that's what the user will see but our link will be categories create so i'll come and refresh here if i refresh you'll have category create category click on create category we are moved here so we have not created the layout now for this create category so now we're going to create a, another layout for creating the category so let's go ahead and create this layout so to create the layout of course we'll have to come for to to we'll have to come to uh to our layouts here and then create a category a layout for creating the category so to do that i will just simply come and copy this name first because i want it to be organized which is categories create and I'm going to come to our layouts, for example, this home layout, and I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to duplicate it, okay? I'm going to duplicate it so I should not re re repeat myself. So to duplicate something in Laravel, I mean in sub, in 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 in, uh, in Visual Studio Code, you press Ctrl and Shift and S, Ctrl Shift S, and then I'll put here the name, which is Categories to create. I mean categories dash create and then blade.php. So don't forget the word blade.php because it's going to be what? It's going to be a blade file, okay? It's going to be a, a, a HTML file mixed with Laravel. So put blade.what.php. So we now have here extra uh, file called categories create, okay? So I'm going to change here the title and put create or creating category creating new category something like this okay so after creating the layout what i'm going to do i'm now going to put this layout in our what in our controller and make it visible so i'll come to our controller which is under http controller category controller and then i'll change instead of returning um, the word create i'm just going to return uh view and then i put the name of our what of our model which is uh, create categories so if i come and refresh here and then I click on uh, category create. Beautiful. You see, we have create categories. So if you're new in Laravel, can you see how things are beautiful and well organized? So by just writing these few lines, they may be complicated for the beginning, of course. That's that's normal. But see, I'm just writing create new category. Just this is just one line. 
But with that one line, I'm able to accomplish this whole page. Okay? It's already have the menu, it already have these things. So if you're really new here for the first time, then just get the motivation and get started with our playlist and start learning. And the time we reach here, you'll see that things with Laravel you can really do uh, things which are really great. Okay, so you see, create categories, beautiful. Okay, so here what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, uh, to, put a, to create a form that is going to handle our category, to create a form that's going to handle our category. So let us go ahead and create a form. So let us first determine how many fields that we need for category. When you're creating a category, we just need its name, its details, and its photo. Okay, its name, details, and the photo. That's the field that we need. Okay, so let's go ahead and create this form. So create this form. We just simply come here to the layout of category. Here, categories create. So here it's where we're going to put the what? The form. So we're going to write our form, HTML form. So it will be html post you can do that eh? form action then method post blah, 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 like this okay so what do we need here we need here um we need here what do you need we need what do you need we need an input okay of um let me okay let me organize it properly okay so i'm going to create here a div and put here so what do you need we need only three two things eh? the name the photo and the details so we just need to put a class so we write bootstrap things here uh, it's going to be form group and then you put here a uh, label okay uh, for what for name and then you put here category name category name and then you put now the real input uh, and then write input let me zoom so you can see stuff clearly okay so i write input and then i put here this text of course and put class of b of what of 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 form control eh? form call control bootstrap will take care of everything and give it an id of name and don't forget give it a name of course the name is name so if you could do like this come and refresh and make sure that things are okay of course things are beautiful exactly as how we need so you have here name when you click on the name we'll focus on this one beautiful so let's go ahead and uh, create another input for the file which is the photo so again to put here uh of course going to focus on on uh, on what on on uh, do we need to handle the photo logic today let me skip the photo logic right now but we'll do it in future okay so we'll do it when you're creating a post okay so it's going to be uh now the details eh? so the details going to be a text area so i'll just come and category details so going to be uh text area and it's going the name is going to be details right i think a category has a, f a label called details a con a for called details so details and i did details and maybe i don't need to put these columns and rows i just need to put a class of form control and then make sure that you're subject here so put a category details okay or description and then uh, if you come and refresh i don't have something beautiful like this one boom like this okay so if you want to update this you can increase on the what on the rows and make them you call them rows right rows and make them maybe like five so if you refresh here you have a bigger space for writing the details okay so if you want to update these things here like here the, the title you can as well just simply come here creating category title is going to be gin 24 create category okay so the title will update so after doing that let's go ahead and put the button for submitting which is going to be a uh, button and going to be submit 
Now remember to give it a class. Uh, it's going to be BTN, BTN primary. Okay. Okay. So like that. Okay. BTN primary. So beautiful. Um, then if you come and refresh here, we have submit button here. So we have to come and give here. Uh, we have to come and give what you call what you call what what you call uh, a type eh? type submit okay so now where is it going to submit okay so in laravel if you want to receive uh, the logic of submission of course going to submit a post so here of course this first when you come here for the very first time to show this one we call it what we call it get okay so we're going to create now the one that will be handling what? Handling the submission. So to submit, it's supposed to be what? A post. So if you submit right now, you see, they say that we only support what? Only support get. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to say that we should support also post. So to do that, we just simply come to our router. I mean, we just simply come to our route, which is this one, web, and then duplicate this very thing. Okay, duplicate this category create. And change this one from post to what to I mean from get to post. So it means that this one will be the one that will be handling what? It will be handling post. So you can create here uh, something called store, a method called store. You can create any method, okay? Save post or what? Let me just put another method because you memorize. Uh, <laughs> you, may mem you may memorize eh? save post that every time should be store. So this save post is the method that will be created, I mean that will be called when someone posts a post. This one will be created when someone wants to create a post. It will be called when someone create a post. And this save post the one that will be created when someone uh, wants to save now a post and someone is uploading the post. So what we're going to do, we're going to come here uh, to our controller and add another method for saving, for handling the logic of saving this post to our database. So I'll come here and just duplicate this one and then do like this. And then I'm going to die. Okay, you know what's meant by die? means to stop the project i'm going to die and say uh saving okay okay saving post so like this we'll be able to handle the what the saving logic okay so right now if you try to, uh, to, uh, to submit can you see it's already expired let us go ahead and refresh here and then try to submit you see it's expired so if you want to solve this problem of expiry there is one thing that you have to add there. Let me come here to Laravel form. There is something that you have to add there. Um, I even don't know it in the head. Eh? I don't know it in the head, but you can search on internet. But once you know it, but once you know the problem, you see, when I try to submit, they say page expired. Okay. Uh, there is a Laravel form. It's called what? S. Uh, I don't know. I forgot it. Uh, is it key? It's called CSRF. CSRF token. Okay. That one. Eh? So you may not understand everything, of course, but uh, you have to know that they exist. So you have to put this code, this piece of code. Let me show you. If you come here to Stack Overflow, of course, it will be there. You have to put this piece of code in your what? In your form. This one. Okay? This one. Otherwise, if you don't put it there, then your form will be saying expired. That is a security thing that is added to your what? To your to your to your form to avoid uh scammers or people to in, to to add uh, malicious code in your what in your project. So every time someone creates the form, they will create this SR I mean CSRF field. That will help us to protect our project from what? From uh, being uh, manipulated by the scammers or by, by, by people who hack our project and keep on adding garbage in our project. That's why, see, if you don't have that one and you try to submit, they'll tell you that the, pro the form has expired. So always make sure in uh, the beginning of your form, which is this one, where is it? Here, right? There. Where's our form? Category create blade, this one, right? 
Yeah, it is this one. <laughs> so here at the beginning of the form, always add this guy. Okay, just open uh, the tag like this. Okay, and then put C A C S R F. Okay, and then put field. Okay, and then call this function. So this of that function will add a unique code uh, to our to our project, that, but it will be hidden. Let me show you what I mean. So if I come here for the very first time, I refresh, and uh, if you come to okay, if you come to, to view view source code, can you see? Can you see here? There is something that has been added to. You see, it is hidden, hidden, eh? but there's an input that has been added to our what? To our project. And every time we refresh, every time we refresh, we get that another new input. Every time we refresh, we get another new input. So the use of that input is uh, to protect our project from what? Uh, from uh, being manipulated by scammers or what? So I refresh now. Now if you see, if I try to submit, now can you see? saving post so that's how you solve that problem you may not memorize it but you have to know that it exists and that's why you're here you're not here to know to memorize things but you have to know things that exist and then you'll be able to implement them when you want to when you don't remember them you just simply make a search and then you get them so now let me make this field required and let me make also this one required okay now let's go ahead and create our post, okay? So to create, I mean to create, uh, let me see which time we are remaining. Oh, the time is over. <laughs> uh, but let us finish this part, eh? Uh, let's go ahead and uh, and create uh, uh, a category. So let us look at a uh, different category that you can create. Uh, we're going to create international news. For example, that's a category of news. So we're going to put here international news. The time is over, but um, you will add me more like five minutes and we finish this part of creating the, the, the model. So I'm going to simply put here international news. Okay, so that's the category. International news and then put here some simple uh, details about international news. Okay, and then submit. Okay, so when you submit, you see, saving a what? saving a post so when you it means that we are we are successfully here now okay we are successfully here now so if you refresh again you'll see we are successfully there so here this is where now we're going to handle the logic of uh, of doing what of um, saving the post so if you want to collect the information that has been submitted you have to put here what you call request and then put something like this r okay so everything that has been submitted is going to be given to you through this uh, value that we're going to put here for example i put for me r others can put a complete word request so if you write like this, dd did means die dump and die okay so if you put dd and then pass r you'll see everything that has been submitted on this form so if you refresh you'll see the details so you can see it's a post format and what and among the things that has been submitted, we have, uh, let me see, uh, let me see what has been submitted, I think. Uh, see, I think in attributes, no, they cannot show it to you here. Okay, but I wanted to see here. Anyway, but they cannot show it to you, I think. They cannot show it to you here. I don't know. I used to see it somewhere. Okay. But if you want to see everything that has been submitted, you just simply call the name, okay? So, for example, we know that we, the name was submitted. Just put a name like this. So, if you submit, you see international news. Can you see? So, the name was submitted. If we put, for example, details, eh? of course, there you'll see. You'll be able to access the details so everything that has been submitted you can access it here so you can first check if it's not null all this logic but for now as we just want to create a what a category using the model so how do you do that Ooh, now you are going to create now a category so to create a category you are going to just simply say cut for example anything you can write any abbreviation equals new category so this new category it will be auto imported here 
if it does not import auto import you can manually auto import it okay by just writing up models and then you put the name of the category but if it's not auto importing also you can add the plugin i mean the extension here the extension you can come here to extension and add the extension of auto importing just such an extension called auto import you see for me i already have it. it's called auto import it will help you to import this one it will help you to import the codes automatically so i create category is called new cut so what are the fields that we now need uh, that i need to create a category i need a name so i say cut and then say name equals so i get the name that has been submitted in r and then say name and then i also need details so i simply say cut details equals to r details so uh detail so you mean that the detail that has been submitted they'll come to details and then the last thing is the photo so the photo we don't have it so i'll just put there uh no image okay so i can put photo equals to nothing let me put nothing okay so let me put nothing like this okay so that by default the photo is not there but we'll handle the, that logic so after initializing the most important things on the category which is here you see our category just needs don't mind about created time and updated time that Laravel will take care of it and the id Laravel will take care of these three so you just need the id the name the details and the photo so you have already have the name the details and the photo now we need to save so to see how things are beautiful we just to save we just simply put like this category and then put save like this okay the cut and then save so if this is the model it will auto, it will save for you the category with simplicity so i'm going now to refresh you see that's how we save okay so if i come and refresh right now see now if i come to our table of categories you can see a new category has been added successfully so that is so beautiful right that is so beautiful with simplicity okay so if i come and uh, add maybe another category and say uh, local news and say some uh, some details about local news so i submit boom so you see the logic you don't need to write insert into this where this this you don't need to do all that but by just simply writing that come to categories you see another category has been submitted that is so beautiful so in the next class we'll start from there in the next advanced programming class we'll start from there and then proceed and see how now we can create a post how we can submit photos and also do all other good practices for now stop from there so one more thing for those who are still interested i'm going to show you how you can put your project on github or maybe that will be the next class now today so thank you for following i've told you if you're still there how many are still there three two if you want to learn and you're here for, for the first time come and search on youtube learn it in muhindo you must have a good computer with good internet connection search learn it with muhindo then uh, come to my youtube channel click here on my youtube channel and then uh sorry did i click on my youtube channel and then click on playlists Hello. so when you click on playlists and then you'll see the ad web advanced so click there and then start practicing watch as you practice watch as you practice watch as you practice by the time you reach here to the now today's class you will not be confused anymore right now you may be confused but by the time you reach now today's class everything will be straightforward and will be understanding everything that we are talking about but it does not take uh, just one day thing you have to really sit down and do what and uh, learn so that's it for today we'll proceed in the what in the next class uh, another day and see you unless there is a question do you have a question